Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope that you're doing absolutely fantastic. Tonight I wanted to come to you with a challenge that I have received from one of my subbies. And not actually just one of my subbies, but I've had a couple of people actually mention it. You know how I'm always talking about designer bags. I'm talking about Louis Vuitton and Chanel and you know, and, and I do consider Michael Kors and Dooney and Burke and Kate Spade and all of those. To me, they are designer bags because, well, they have a good name and I really appreciate them. And so sometimes I buy those and sometimes, sometimes I buy some that are less expensive and sometimes I buy more, the ones that are more expensive. I have often said that if I like a bag, I'm going to purchase it and take care of it and enjoy it. And I did receive a bit of a challenge that I would like to share with you this evening. And basically the challenge uh, went, you know, it's difficult um, to find a, a designer bag um, that's affordable, you know, and, and, and how do you handle that situation when you want a nice bag, but you might not be able to, to, to afford some of the more punchy ones. So my answer to that really would be, Here's, here's kind of how I look at the fashion industry. I don't really give in to all of the hoopla. Like just because I enjoy the, the history behind a Louis Vuitton bag and I might want to get some of their travel stuff and, and I'm in love with the Speedies, it doesn't mean that I want to wear their shoes or, um, or their, um, their jewelry. You know, I, I think that when you think of things being a designer, I like what I like and it may have a name on it and it may not have a name on it. Now having said that, I have to tell you that even if it doesn't have a name on it, chances are some lovely person on the face of this earth took some time to look at that bag and design it. Now sometimes those come with a higher price tag. I'm going to refer to this particular bag that I am still absolutely in love with. This is obviously inspired by the Chanel single flap. I did a review on it. I will link it for you below. I still love this bag. I think it's beautiful. Um, who, the, what is it, Gabrielle Rochella? Like she did a wonderful design on this bag and I think it's just as lovely as any of the bags that I have sitting behind me or in front of me. I mean, that's just, come on, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's beautiful. So here was the challenge. I've been given, now and I'm going to tell you, by the way, I got that for $29.99, so I kind of feel like I've already won this challenge, but we're going to start all over. I've been given a challenge, and the challenge is to go out and find a designer like looking it doesn't and, and by that I don't think that they mean like an inspired by I think what they mean is a bag that is beautiful enough to stand up and um, so when someone sees it on your shoulder they would go oh gosh that's a really beautiful bag and not like just something right so I've been given a $40 limit and I'm going to go on a search for that $40 bag has to be beautiful <clears throat> excuse me and be like a designer equivalent right so I am definitely up for the challenge, and I'm just putting this out here as a real quick note to say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in it, and I'm in it to win it. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, it's probably going to be about a week before I can get out and be free, probably like this next weekend coming up, and I am going to head out, and I'm going to vlog it, and we're going to go into some stores, and I am not going to go into the Belks and the uh, Dillards and those kinds of places. No. I am going to St. Augustine and we are going to go to the little boutique kind of shops and I am going to see if I can find it and make it happen. All right? So I look forward to doing that with you. I just kind of wanted to let you know that's coming up. So that's the first piece of announcement. And then the next announcement that I want to do, that I just kind of want to get this out there, that I, I thought this would be kind of fun. So I love doing those masks during the week. Now, I don't mean that charcoal mask where people scream when they take it off. <laughs> I'm talking about like the really nice ones that just kind of sit on your face. And it's a, I, I like to maybe burn a, like a scentsy thing so it's kind of nice smelling wherever it is that I'm going to be. And I play some soft music and I just let it sit on my face. And I find that to be kind of therapeutic. For, for that time being to kind of bring the stress down and relax. And I thought, 
this might be kind of fun because I got a couple of masks. I, 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 there was a, a friend of mine who was going to come and visit and we were going to do facials and it just, it didn't work out and that's okay. Sometimes those things do not work out, but I have these extra facial things that and when I got them, I thought they would be really funny to do when that individual got here. And I think that it still would be very funny, but I kind of want to do it with you guys. So here's what I'm going to say. Take some time this week, and when you hear my voice, go get um, uh, uh, one of those, like, masks. So you'll find them um, anywhere. You can find them in Walmart. You can find them in Target. You can find them in Sephora. They are all over the place. They're single packs. And when you, uh, when you rip them out, it's almost like a papery looking wet kind of thing and you're just going to lay it on your face. That's what we're looking for. We're not working, looking for one that you kind of squirt out and you rub on your face. Although, if you want to do that, that's absolutely fine too. So just when you see this video, know that one is coming up where we are going to do a mask together and have some chit chat in peace. And hopefully that um, it will just be maybe a little hilarious, uh, but but peaceful as well. So do that with me and just prepare it and then just have it ready. And when you see that video come up, hold it until uh, such time as you're home and you can maybe light a candle or whatever and just sit with me and we are going to have a gals, guys, like whoever wants to do this, we are going to have a wonderful friend evening where we're going to sit and maybe we're going to sip some warm tea. Maybe we're going to have a glass of wine. Maybe we're just going to sip some water. Whatever it is, get your beverage of choice, get your mask, and then hit play on that video. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I think that's it for the announcements uh, for this upcoming week. Uh, take care, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay. You don't have to do the mask with us. It's just fine. If you haven't already, take a moment to subscribe. And if you subscribe and you're not getting notifications, look for that bell somewhere around here and click on it because when my videos come out, then it's going to tell you because you need to know because you guys really need to do the mask with me because I think it would be fun. All right, that's really it. Take care, everyone. Have a great evening. Bye.